Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today is a 61 Benz episode. Doing the brakes on the left front wheel today. Got the right one done. Uh, I got the other one all torn apart. I got the rest of them wool cylinders out from the front. There's all the pieces. Um, I got them all like I pressurized them and I blew out blew out the plungers and all these all these are actually rebuildable cores I can save them which will be a spare set it's nice um, got oh yeah and I got rid of that 2001 Mercedes uh, that's been sold um, which is good after 20 years it's been fun but it's time to let it go. <laughs> so I got everything out of here. I kind of got this brushed away. I got the brake shoes. I'm going to clean them up a little bit. Um, mostly just cobwebs. There's uh, still enough meat on them. We'll clean them up they'll do the job um, I know at some point this is gonna get all torn back apart and put new brake shoes on it I'm gonna take the back plates off like these uh, the wheel bearing is gonna come out these plates will come off and this whole sub assembly is gonna get restored but not now um, it's gonna be you know, probably a couple of years down the road until I get the money going or figure out how I'm going to finance it. But for now, I wanted to be able to cruise it around the block or just driving around town, I guess, for fun. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to stop with four wheels. So anyway, we'll get going. I'm going to try to we get some gloves on. All right, I got to jam for these right here a little bit because when you go to put them in like that, they don't actually fit because it hits the hub. Um, the other ones also, some of them come out that way real hard. You got to pry on them to get them out. Uh, I just put like an angle edge on it. I'm just going to take them and um, just sand them really quick, real easy, real easy. Just like that, you can see the edge right there, just a little bit of an angle. I'm gonna take this and it just kind of slips right in there now. Um, much easier. You don't have to fight it. But let's see, get a tripod going. All right, there's four screws that hold these in. There's three little guys and then one bigger one. The bigger one looks like that. Uh, if you ever have to get these out, and then one of the small ones is just that. So like that, one, two, three, four. One of these is for the banjo, and one of these is for the, the bleeder screw. And they're both the same thread, same size and everything. So it's pretty easy to remember. Um, also, it's best to get, this, to get these bolted in before you try to attach the banjo um, tube because the banjo tube covers the heads of some of these bolts and um, that makes it difficult to tighten in there I found that out the hard way on the other side I put the banjo bolts in before I tightened all the little bolts and uh, it didn't really pan out had to take it all back apart. 
Let me get uh, this guy in there. Just like that. Let me get this big bolt in there. Get the little guys tightened first. For the little one, I just use a swivel. Uh, much easier. Move the banjo line out of the way. Get the other one torqued down. Like that. Now for the other one. There's my there's my vice grips holding the fluid in. Big one. All right. Now we're gonna. I gotta clean the banjo bolts themselves. Um, get all the crap off of them. Clean the washers and clean that tube one more time. Get all the debris out of the seal. And then I'll screw these in there, position the banjo bowl with the hose, and put the bleeder screws in, and I can remove the vice grips. This is Junior doing laps on the dirt bike, little 50cc dirt bike I borrowed from my buddy. My buddy Dave. I use the same tool to put the banjo bolt on. It's the uh, swivel tool. Want to make sure you don't over tighten that one. Don't want to break it off. Do the other side. Got the uh, bleeder screws. Install those real quick. All right, time to remove the device grips off the line. Let that fluid flow through a little bit. Let it drip out. I'm gonna open one at a time. Do one at a time, and then. When that one's the when the bottom one starts dripping, I'll close in and I'll open the top one. Uh, let it all kind of fill in. Doesn't take long usually. From what I discovered, I can even loosen this one. Just finger tighten it. Then the uh, next parts are uh, the, the brake shoe actually sits on. The brake shoe pivots on this big bolt, and there's the thing. I gotta clean those out, but this pivots on that. Um, this is the self adjuster thing, and the only thing it really does is just puts a lot of friction on there. Um, these are need a, like a special tool to get out like a special socket um, I'm gonna have to make it at some point so you know we'll see 
but I gotta clean these off real quick. Okay, we got we got fluid coming. We got fluid coming out of the bottom one like that. Nothing out of the top yet. This makes life a lot easier to bleed it. All right, we got the top one. Snug that a little bit. Let me polish these up. Actually, I gotta clean off all the spiders off of these. Clean the spiders. I just uh, use a scrubby pad to get the crud off of there. You could put a little grease, but these are pretty greasy from other things. We generally don't like to apply grease into uh, anything brake parts. I could put some anti-seize, but this thing isn't going to get the miles, you know. It's not going to wear out. Maybe I'll apply a little anti-seize on it. Just a little dab. Going to put it in there and just kind of rotate it around. Like that. Then uh, this guy is going to be goes this way oh I need a little nipple need to put these into the wheel cylinder first they just kind of plug into the rubber like that get this guy threaded in there these guys hold the adjuster things in place um, they come in from the back side. They go into the back of this. Kind of right there. That holds the that holds the brake shoe in place. Um, it's kind of like that little springy thing you gotta undo on regular drum brakes. Uh, nine, that one's a 19 millimeter. Tighten that in there. There's one. Then you get these guys go in there. They plug into this from the drum side. And then on the other side of this, um, there's a clip and a washer. And you got to use something to push on it with because it's a little on the harder side to do it. I think I was using a hammer. And I need to, like, get this guy straightened out a little bit. Pull that through. Bendy that. Tighten this big one. And then there's a there's a metal plate on it. There's that metal plate. You're gonna to make sure that doesn't back off. Get this other one in there. Wrong-handed. That's what's going on here. Now for the springs. You got some springs that go in there. I have a, oh, before I forget, wouldn't had a, 
Would have had a spare part there. That's no good. You gotta fix that. Get the clip in there. Now for the crazy springs. All right, brake drums are on. Uh, I forgot to film the spring part, but the spring, I use a hook like that and just pull it and use a screwdriver to pop it in. So this is good, or if you have like a real spring, brake spring tool, that'll work. I gotta summon Junior to work the pedal now. All right, step on the pedal. Hold it down. Uh, make it go up and down a few times. Okay, hold it down. Push down. Okay, let up. All right, I think we're bled. Anyway, the brakes work, got the wheels on it. I do need to bleed it. Uh, all four wheel works now, but when we were doing it, I had Junior helping with the brake pedal and I don't think we bled the whole system correctly. So I got to revisit it. Um, but it did all four wheels stop, but I had to pump the brakes to uh, get them to work. Um, got a little too much slap in there or too much air. I'm guessing somewhere in the brake booster circuit, maybe. But I know that when I had the bleeder valve open at one point, Junior let up on the pedal, which means it sucked in a lot of air. I could actually hear it going <laughs> like sucking. So, um, yeah, I got to bleed it at some point, but it's good. I also got its um, own dedicated car battery now. So I don't have to... Uh, Keep stealing batteries, moving them around. But um, it's all good. We'll see. Next part is try to bleed the brakes and clean this thing out. Maybe get that uh, windshield in. Yeah, hopefully get it cleaned out and get that other windshield put in there and take it for a drive around the neighborhood again. But that's it. That's it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.